Alrighty then, let's have a look see what we got here. We've got a couple of, well, three dehumidifiers. Now, these two have a slight problem. These are the ones that I have, this is the one I have in the, uh, the porch, usually, the winter. This one goes in one of the bedrooms. So does this one, because we have a condensational issue, but that's neither here or there. Now this one is perfectly fine, I'm just going to be uh, preparing it to be for st stored for the summer. Whereas these ones have a bit of a noisy motor, when you turn them on they make a funny noise. In fact, I'll turn one on to show you exactly what it does. Now I plugged um, one of them in. This one is fairly new, it's uh, however you pronounce that, Von Hoss. Um, now it's supposed to be good, German make imported them from Germany, you can buy them from UK suppliers, but I imported these ones from Germany, I've got two of them. Not as good as I thought, never mind. This one's an old one, I would expect this one to be making noise. This one is probably about a year old, start making noise after about two months. But let's see what it does. Well, it's proving me wrong and it's behaving. It's very strange. Alright, let's turn the other one on and see if that's going to make that noise. Hopefully this one's going to do it for you so you can see what a noise, that funny old noise what it makes is. Um, I'm going to be taking them apart and holding them up no matter what happens, but I want to show you exactly what it sounds like. There we go. That's just a dodgy bearing in that fan, I think. So I'm going to give it an oil up. Yeah, I think it definitely needs a bit of a clean out. Probably all suited up with hair and fluff and dust, plus a good old oil up. So they're both going to get the oiling treatment. So let's get into it, shall we? Well, hell, we've taking a little while to try and find the right screwdrivers I had to go through all this collection to try and get one that would fit in them little holes there to get them screws out in the end I found this one is quite a dandy one um, that one was too small um, right so I've got to change my camera and the battery as well battery and the camera I mean so this has already fallen off because it's stupid um, it's full of dust you can see all that dust there full of dust and then I mean this well this is under the wife's supervision usually and she doesn't maintain anything let alone a dehumidifier that she's seen to her as being inferior so we've got a screw falling out so we've got to take the front off if I lay it down we should be able to take the front off hopefully there we go okay well Hopefully that's a bit of a better position. Oh, that ain't good. Fun or lighting outside. That's all fun and games. Well, right, let's have a look and see what we got here. In here we have loads and loads and loads of dust and cobwebs, which is somewhat, um, well, it ain't a good thing, put it that way. Uh, right, so we've got to try and get to the fan. The fan is in the back there, so to get to the fan, we've got to take off um, all this other random rubbish. I'll explain what all this does in a second once I've taken it off. You'll have a look, you'll see, you're going to love it. Oh, there we go, right. I've got a really, really heavy thunderstorm outside. Thunder and lightning a lot, so I hope you can hear me over the rain. So I've got to have the door open because it's bloody hot in here, even though it is 10 o'clock at well, past 10 at night. Um, yeah, so this is a very basic dehumidifier. All you've got here is a very small um, heat sink, basically. This is a cold, this will be the cold side, and down in there will be the hot side one with a fan, and basically it pulls in air through these vents um, and it condenses on these. Um, the heat sink which is <coughs> which is angled in such a way that the water effectively just drips down into the um, water catching tray which slides in it in there which is 
It's got a bit in it. So these are very ineffective, these very small ones. They're not very good at all. They won't get much um, water out whatsoever. Um, in fact, like this, barely gets any, any water out, to tell you the truth. But, uh, let's see if I can find a screwdriver that actually fits these screws because I need to get in to the fan. Um, now, if I remember correctly from one of these I previously took apart, the fan was literally, I'm assuming this one's going to be the same, it was literally a computer fan. Um, there's nothing special about it, it's just a generic 12 volt um, computer fan, which was, well, it did surprise me a little bit. To tell you the truth, I thought they would have um, had something fairly decent because it's just like a generic one, quite a cheap one. But then again, these are only about you buy these little do these little mini dehumidifiers, brand new um, nowadays. They're, I think they're about twenty quid, which is you know obviously they're built and engineered for you know economy um, and to be cheap. This actually, this little one actually has no thermos, um, dehumidistat on it. Dehumidistat. Dehumidistat. By the way, this bigger heatsink is the, is the hotter, um, is the hot side. This will be hot, and apparently I think, I've never done it, but I would imagine it would be true that, uh, you can reverse the polarity and this will become the cool side, and this on the other side will become the hot side. Um, I'm not going to do that, I don't know, I'm bothered with that. All I'm trying to do is clean it out. This is actually a really bad dehumidifier, it actually does pretty much nothing, but um, I don't even know why I've got it. I've got uh, two bigger ones, really big ones. Uh, I'm probably going to do a video on those soon. Um, they need a bit of maintenance, they do a much better job. Uh, right, so I just put it back together. Well, give it a clean up. I'm going to go get the old compressed air, give it a blowout, and then we'll put it back together and uh, stick a bit of oil on that fan and hope that that noise stops happening. Let's see what happens! Alright, we keep it, the camera keeps having a bit of a problem for some reason, so I get the funny feeling that this video might be a little bit of a shambles. Um, so there's going to be probably going to be a big skip and jump in the middle there, um, and all of a sudden this unit's back together again. So I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that. Hopefully the footage is there, but I don't think it's going to be. Anyway, you might have noticed it is back together. Um, I've oiled up. The Hello. I've oiled up the fan. All I've got to do is clean out. It's a bit of the dirt that what happened when I was putting it back together. Got a bit of dirt in there. Um, let's clean out the. Uh, let's give this a bit of a clean. This is the little tank that holds the water. Basically, um, it's got a little float in it. It's got a little float in it there. It floats up and down, as it should do. Seems to be a bit jammed. It's supposed to float up and down. As the uh, water comes up, it comes up, pushes that up, which then pushes one of the little switches in there and turns it off. A little empty in piece, and this little bit what uh, is sort of indented captures the water and it all goes into that hole. So let's put that back in there where it belongs. Let's get a, the, uh, it's not the plug for it, but it's a 12 volt supply. Bravely switch the camera off of charge, which might be a bad decision. And turn it on. No! Yeah, I think that this fan has had it. It's the fan that's completely had it, I think. Gonna have to plug the camera back in, otherwise we're gonna lose 
production yet again. We don't want to be losing production again. No, I, I think that the, the fan on this one has absolutely had it. I think I'm going to have to replace the small fan. Although I've given it a good clean and a good oil up, it's completely had it, I think. So, it's going to be a case for this one, at least. It's going to be a new fan if I wish. If I've got one laying in my box of fans, which I have a big box of computer fans, actually, quite a big box, then I will just replace it. I'm not going to go and buy a fan to use um, on this one because it's not worth buying a fan. I can just buy another dehumidifier. I mean, this one cost about 20 quid. And this one's better than this one. This this one this one is completely and utterly shit to be honest with you. So yeah. Let's have a look at this one. The next right, the next one we're gonna be looking at is, is this one. Um although it won't plan up as but as much. This one just needs a bit of maintenance because what happens is a load of dust get, goes inside here, clogs it up, clogs up the cold side, clogs up the vent in there. And this is exactly the same design as the other one. The only difference being this one is black and slightly better built. Um, still quite a bit of dust in there though. So the next one we'll have a look at is this one. Then we'll go into the big, the big ones. We'll go into the mothers, the mothers of dehumidifiers. I've got two of them. So uh, we'll go into those ones next. So stay tuned if you're interested in that.